Okay, so we're going back just a bit um, to finish up on the topic of Shuvah Lashma. So last time, again, we just discussed, mainly we discussed the Shittas of Rashi and Toysvah, mm -hmm. right, about what is considered Shuvah Lashma. We saw different Gemaras, that one Gemara seems to say that Shuvah Lashma is good, right? Mm -hmm. It might be not perfect above heavens, but at least it's Ad Lashemayim. And then we saw the Gemara says that Noach shall lo yishu lo nivra. So, uh, okay, so we had two different approaches. Toysus Rashi, at least we differentiated what it means. One is either malpractice, right? You're using Torah for the wrong mm -hmm. means. And Rashi seems to be saying that it's it's just you're not doing it like him. You're not... It doesn't bring you to action, to the to changes. To, like R Rava says, um, you know, Torah is supposed to be for Tshuva and Maisim Toivim. And if you don't do it, so Noach shall lo nivra, Right? And then we ended off with Nefesh Achayim. It seems to be saying, listen, I don't know what you guys are talking about, this Shulad Hashemah business. It's this overblown of pro proportion, right? Because uh, you have to learn, that's it. The rest doesn't matter, right? That's really what it comes down to, right? Um, so, I mean, so how does Nefesh Achayim go with this? How does Nefesh Achayim fit with the picture? You know, it's pretty clear from the Gemara. It's not Chalad Hashemah Right, it's very strong languages. There are other Chazal that we didn't see. I remember if we saw, it, which I want to also think about. Um, the Gemara in Tainus says that if a person <coughs> person learns Torah Shulor Lishma, it says Nasis Lo Sama Moles. Then the Torah turns into a po into poison. Mm -hmm. I and mean, we did see it. And remember, we, we started yeah, seeing. Yeah, we started yeah. seeing it. Uh, it turns into poison. Poison. Okay. Uh, the, the Chazal that we did not see is that in the beginning of Eicha. The Medrash says, this famous Medrash, that, that the Gemara, that, that Hashem asks, or the Torah asks, well, how come the, the, the Eretz Yisrael was destroyed? And the Medrash, the Torah answers, al, 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 al Torah si, that they left my Torah. And the Gemara, Medrash says, halavai, that as if Hashem is saying, halavai, o isi azov, it's halavai, that they would have left me, the Torah si shaman, and they would have mm -hmm. kept my Torah, right? Sounds like, it would have they learned, as long as they would have learned the Torah, it would have been good. Why? Because then the light that's in it, in the Torah, would have brought them back. Yeah. Right? It's because they left the Torah, that's what it was that it did not uh, bring them back. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Fine. So okay, we'll, get, we'll come back to that in a second. But again, just wanted to share with you this beautiful uh, briskarov. The briskarov, um, I mean, it goes on the Rambam, really, doesn't it? I don't think it doesn't answer the Rambam. But on the Toysavs, he asks the question, he says, what's the big deal with this Chazal that says, uh, you know, Okay, so it says, it says, uh, it's, it says, if you do learn to learn Toysavs, it's not Chalosh Okay, big deal. It doesn't scare me. We have another Chazal that says, you know, that the, the whole... Uh, the whole, uh, what's the word, uh, human project is uh, whether it was worth it or not. Mm -hmm. And really, Paskin, it's not worth it. But still, now that it's not worth it, you still go ahead and uh, do your best to become a better human being, right? Mm -hmm. So good, you're right. So maybe you're, you're learning Shiloh Lishma, but who says it's not a mitzvah? Who says you shouldn't do it just because, just because you're learning Shiloh Lishma, who says you shouldn't do it? Who gives you the right not to do it? I'm learning Shulah Lishma, big deal. So I, I, I don't care. I don't care. It's malpractice. It, that's not the, the, you know, that's... The first question is, is it a mitzvah? The second question is, is it malpractice? Right? So, um, so that's why he's saying, he's saying, you're right. You're right. The Toysus never addressed, really, the question of what, of whether it's, whether it's a mitzvah or not a mitzvah. Toysus never said it's not a mitzvah. Who told you Toysus says it's not a mitzvah? What Toysus was addressing is the other part, like we asked the question. The question was, the Behuda was saying that right? right? He has a question on the Ram. Why do I need this mitoch shulo lushmo? like we asked the question. You should really do it A, because from A you're going to come to B. B is really what we want you to do. But listen, might as well do A, because A will bring you to B. But A is really nothing. Mm -hmm. But as long as it come, brings you to B, it's something. Mm -hmm. Right? But that, that's not true, says the, 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 because, the, because 
the Rambam uses the same language, even if you if you are serving Hashem out of Yira, like we also we saw that Rambam, right? The Rambam says Shlodesh also includes where you are serving for reward of Elam Haba, or you are serving because you are afraid of Hashem's punishment, right? That's also considered Shlodesh and on that the Torah says Mitar Shlodesh So he says, what do you mean? That can't be. Just because I'm serving on a lower level for year, because I'm afraid of Hashem's punishment, that be, that makes my avoida nothing, and it's only something because it's going to lead eventually. It's going to bring me to lishma. That's not true. What if it eventually doesn't bring me to lishma? What if I stay? Well, we stay on that low level, right? But I mean, the Torah is only given to the highest level people possible. Ninety percent of the people are on that level, right? Mm-hmm. So how could it be that that mitoch shulolishma bolishma? That's his question in the Rambam, and he really leaves that question without an answer. Tzarech in Rav. But on Toysus, he says that's really to- the Toysus, which is not going on that type of shulolishma. On the shulolishma, that's more um, what's the word? Uh, not what's the opposite of altruistic. Um, Selfish, right. More selfish reasons. It's only then if you're doing it more selfishly reason, there has to be a metoch shulolishma bolishma. And if and so what Toysus is saying that if a person is learning Torah to just put people down, right? So then that type of learning is not going to bring him to lishma. Toysus is not saying that you shouldn't do it necessarily. Toysus is saying that that guarantee mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. does not apply if you're only learning it mm-hmm. to slug up other people or to, you know, right? right? To, 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 to put them down in learning. Mm-hmm. Then it's, 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 you still should do it because it's still a mitzvah. But Toysus is not, Toysus is according to, 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 to the Brisk Rav, was never addressing the question whether it's a mitzvah or not, like we simply learn. Mm-hmm. Is it a mitzvah or is it not a mitzvah? Right? Rashi is mashma, that it's, no, it's not a mitzvah. You're learning, you're learning is nothing, so to speak. Says, no, of course, it can't be, says the, the Brisk Rav. What do you mean your learning is nothing? How could your learning be nothing? What makes your learning nothing? Right? So the answer is, of course, it's something. The question is, is this learning going to bring you to higher level learning? That depends. What kind of learning are you doing? Right? Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. So, okay, so that's 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 an interesting, um, again, so that's, that's we, we have hope, you know, I think that this way the Nefesh Chaim is better, fits into this puzzle, mm-hmm. right? Because now we understand that we're, where he's coming from. Again, this Gemara, meaning this Gemara of Noach Lo Nivra, Okay, you know, you're not going to scare me with Neuchel, you're a little neighbor, so to speak. You, you you know, do. Okay, he's there. you still got to do what you got to do. Um, okay, however, I, just, I think also it's important to differentiate between learning Shalom Lishmo and doing Mitzvah Shalom Lishmo. Right? Which one is better and which one is worse? So there's different ways, you know, so I know that in Pachad Yitzchok, he says, Mitzvah Shulot Shema, of course, that's no problem. You should always do Mitzvah Shulot Shema. It was learning Shulot Shema that, that I would have had a Hava Amina, that it was a problem, mm-hmm. because maybe I would have thought that since originally Torah, we learned from, there's a drasha, the Gemara and Bracha says there's a drasha, that just like, that you have to learn Torah Kinesinosa, the way it was given. Just like it was given with fear and trepidation and mm-hmm. all of these different levels, so too you should learn it kinesinosa. But Kamash Milan, no, you learn it however you however you learn it. But there is such a have a mina that a, ter- a real terror has to be on that on that level, right? I mean, real terror has to be on that level. But you, you know, all terror has to be on that level. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so according to the Pachad Yitzchak, there was no real have a mina on. On mitzvahs shlod shmo, the only really have I mean, it was on Torah, and even that was a very, very weak, kind of not weak but very esoteric <laughs> have I mean, right? On the other hand, you could argue opposite, right? Like like the like Nefesh Achaim and, and the others, they seem to be saying no Torah. There's never never a real have I mean on Torah. When you're starting out, 
Right? Rebbe Chal says in the beginning, who could possibly learn Lashmo from the, from the get-go? It's not possible. So whenever you're starting out, you have to start out with, with Shuloi Lashmo. Mm -hmm. Right? On the other hand, on mitzvah, again, he doesn't speak, I'm, I'm speaking. So on the mitzvahs, when it comes to mitzvahs, it's different. Because what's the point? Meaning a mitzvah, when, you, when you're doing a mitzvah, what are you doing? You're doing Avoid the Hashem. Right? Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of Avoid this Hashem? To get you closer to Hashem. So what what is it? A mitzvah shalol l'shmo, meaning a mitzvah shalol l'shmo in a certain sense is a contradiction. I'm doing a mitzvah, but it's not bringing me closer to Hashem. I'm doing it for myself, right? What kind of an avoid? What kind of an avoider is that? So I mean, there's also probably different levels of that, and like, am I really? Like helping the lady cross the road because maybe she's gonna die right. and leave, leave, leave her money to me, or right, right, that level, or Hashem is gonna look favorable of me and maybe down down the line he's gonna smile at me better. Different, right? So there's different. So the Meiri, which again we didn't we skipped the you know, last time. The Meiri sets up over here four levels. Four level, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's too much already, but but um, um, but I just want to point out one, one thing. Back to Mesil, Mesil Let's just back to Mesil Sishari. So when if you go back to chapter, I'll tell you where it is. Um, chapter five. Chapter 5, when he talks about how to acquire Zahirus, right? Zahirus is very beginning, right? The first the first step to becoming, to, to, to avoid the Sashem is Zahirus, starting to be careful about your rights and your wrongs, right? And weighing them in your, in, in some kind of a, a scale. Is this good or is this, this not good? Correct? Mm -hmm. So then he says over there that, right, so he starts out, um, one second, All right, so this is, this is the factors that detract from Zahirus, so he says, I don't know, somewhere like towards the beginning, I don't know, okay, um, for the, here in this in this in this version is page ninety seven, right? Hashem that created Yitzhahara in a person who borrowed a he's the one that created Torah as an antidote for it, right? And he brings the the, the Chazal. The poshut it's simple. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu didn't create for this wound, for this sickness, but only this, uh, this, uh, what's the word, refu, this remedy. So obviously you can't, can't, uh, you know, you can't heal yourself any other way. If you want to achieve, achieve Zahirus, right, if you want to realize, if you want to know what's right and what's wrong, if you want to write, right, that's so you need to study. You need to study Torah. And it continues. It continues because if a person says Kihine Hayetzer Rabbe Emes Chazak, who be Odom Oid, the Yetzer is very strong. Umi bleed Yosef Shel Odom Hoylechu Misgaber Boy Vishalot Love. Even without your knowledge, it will basically overcome you. Right? It's it's you. You'll be biased. It will it will overpower you. You won't be able to to. You know, you could have uh, all sorts of philosophy classes, what's right and what's wrong, and then you're going to end up, uh, you know, doing uh, sex change surgeries on 12-year-old mm -hmm. girls, whatever, boys mm -hmm. or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. For, for obviously, for their benefit, mm -hmm. right? Your chesed, your, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, so, right? So, so, vim yase kol hatachbula shebo oilam, gulo yikach harefua, and if he doesn't take this refuah, he won't even feel that his sickness is getting worse. 
Only when he will die and he will lose his soul, that's when he will realize, you know. Okay. So again, it continues the Moshe. What is that? Similar to a sick person, he went to, to the doctors, and they diagnosed his sickness. And they gave him this particular medicine. And he, before, you know, despite him being not an expert at all in, in, the, in the skill of mm-hmm. healing, and, right? He's going to leave that medicine alone. He's going to make his own alternative, uh, you know, gogol mogol. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> So, so he certainly is going to die. Similarly, this, this is exactly the same way. Because a person who doesn't recognize the true sickness of the Yetzirah, and how it's embedded into him, but only Hashem who created it. Hashem says that the, the way to treat it is with the Torah. So me eifo yenich avikach mashiikach zulos etc. Right? Who is he? Who is he to to try something else? Vaday certainly shechoyshech achoyim riyos the darkness of the physical world yelech veigbarlov madrega acha madrega the 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 darkness of the physical world will will overpower him step by step. Vuhula Yovin, he won't even understand until he is deep into it and he will be distant from the truth. And even even good thoughts are not going to sprout in his heart. However, and this is the key sentence, Im hu if he learns Torah, when he will see its ways, Tzivuyeho, it's her commandments, vazharaseho, and her warnings. So ways, commandments, warnings. Hine soif soif. In the end, me love by itself is chadish boy hisoyrus. There will be a, a renewal of inspiration. Shivyeu la derech atoyv. That will bring him to the good path. Vehu mashom rezecharem levrocha. And this is what our sages said. Halavai oisi azvu. But it's better that they should have left me and kept my Torah mm-hmm. that the light in it would bring a person to good. Okay? Mm-hmm. So again, so this is where, so now we see that the, the, the Mchal used this concept of which again was referring to learning Torah, not Avoida. Mm-hmm. Right? When it comes to learning Torah, he brings this Chazal here in Zahirus. And it tells us that Barasi Yitzhahara Barasi Torah Tafur, right? Which again, interesting, why? Because specifically in Gemara and Taina says that specifically uses the same moshul of a psalm, meaning of a medicine, right? Of a, right? Mm-hmm. That if you learn Torah inappropriately, not only will it not become for you a psalm mm-hmm. chayim, it will become for you a psalm mavis. Mm-hmm. Right? Right? What? Well, again, you're saying overdosing. I'm not sure. Like maybe. I mean, that may be an approach, but let's just. I think that it doesn't have to be. Maybe it's just. Not, maybe it's just poison. Who says it's overdosing? You're saying it's overdosing. Mm-hmm. I'm saying maybe I would have said that. That. Again, let's go with Toysus's approach. If you are, let's say, learning with Kanter Chaveru, that if I'm only using this Torah as a way to contradict my my peers, right? Put them down. So then it's not going to serve for me as a medicine of good, meaning the way he's setting up. He's setting up like this. If you don't learn Torah, what's going to happen? The darkness of the world is going to confuse you. You won't be able, you need some kind of a, what's the word? Some kind of a foundation from which to decide what's right and what's wrong. If you don't have a foundation, then who's, you know, it's, it's, it's all gray. It's all gray. How are you going to know between in this, in this gray mess what's white and what's black, mm-hmm. right? So the Torah is your ability. He says you're going you're gonna to be able to recognize what's good and what's not good. 
right? But now the Gemara, but the, and he, again, he's using the marshal of medicine, mm -hmm. right? Now, but the, but the problem is that the Gemara says, oh, I don't know, it depends how you use the Torah. The Torah can be also just as much as your Torah is your medicine for good. Right. It could also be a medicine for bad. Meaning, I'm, you're going right. to see things. He's not looking at that side. He's looking at the uh, as as again as to quote to quote Shakespeare. Uh, you know, in in the Merchant of Venice, he says that the the devil will will cite scriptures for his purpose. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if you want to find mm -hmm. a raya to the Torah, that you know, sex change operations mm -hmm. are great. You you can find it. You know, as long as you get creative mm -hmm. enough, you could you could find whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So then again, so then begs the question, like so. Okay, so so how is it then? I see as well with her as a How is it that you, right? Mm -hmm. So what are you saying? So again, I mean, I think it's going it's to again come down to this that the book is called Mesil as That you can't, there's a prerequisite. Mm -hmm. There's a prerequisite. You have to have some basic yashrus of Derech Eretz called the Malatar. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, right? Well, you have to have some, cool that, right. If you don't have that basic yashras, yeah, you're right. Maybe the Torah at that point can't get you where it, it you want to go. Some basic yashras is, is, is necessary. So a person who's probably, is a hero, is trying to do well and he's learning Torah, that's, that's basic yashras. But if he's only learning Torah to go ahead and, and slug somebody up and he's not learning it to become a better human being, so that's so he has no hope. He has no hope. So it's not going to be Sam Chaim. It's going to be Sam Amol. So he over here is talking about a person who's already really on some level of trying to become a better person, right? Not okay. So that's that's again. So that's when it comes to Torah. When it comes to Torah, it seems to me from you know Nemchal's world that any any sort of element of Lushmo within a sea of Shlo Lushmo mm -hmm. is already good. It gets you on your way. Again, there's maybe different levels in the beginning, in the end, whatever, right? Uh, fine. Now, but over here, now back to uh, Tahara. When it comes to Tahara, he's talking about he's talking about not learning. He's talking about avoid. He's talking about avoid. Right. And over here, he says, so, right, he says, again, so he says, so he says, right, he says that there are many different levels, right, I missed it. Yeah, Gulon Kwan is Bayra Divrecha Chomim. This is on page 310 in this in this version. Kwan is Bayra Divrecha Chomim. Zichrin Lubrocha. She is Minim Shoinim Shulalushmo. The different levels of Shulalushmo. Harami Kulon, the worst of all of them, is Sheinen Oivid Lushem Avoid the Klal. He's not serving for Hashem at all. Ella Lurama is Bneho Odom Larviach Kova de Momen. But rather to trick others or to, 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 um, um, to profit, self profit. Honor, right? So, in other words, it's completely, it's completely not for Hashem. It's totally for himself, right? So he's saying that avoid is is ra, not like, again, not like maybe, briska ra. Briska says, I don't care if it's ra. Well, this, again, briska is talking about Torah, and I don't want to. That's why mm -hmm. it could be could be those two things. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, not like what the Pachadit said. The Pachadit was saying, when it comes to mitzvahs, we never had a question they should do them Shlod Of course mm -hmm. you should do them Shlod Right? The Hava Amina was really on the Torah because of this Knesinos. Mm -hmm. uh, the Briskrav is saying the other way around. The Briskrav is saying, no, on the Torah, we never had a question of Shlod Shmo. I don't care if it's, even if it's, even if it's totally for crazy reasons, you know, totally, you know, you're just fooling, you know, you're, uh, you know, I don't know, 
want to convert people. You're secretly trying to convert people to Christianity. It doesn't matter. It almost, I mean, it almost doesn't matter. Learn, just learn. Yeah, maybe it's going to be some Chaim, some of us too, but still, okay, you're right. But right now, it's still a mitzvah. It's still, you still have an obligation to do it, so to speak. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm taking it too far, but 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 uh, but that's just making a point extreme to to but the situation like for example you cannot bring to temple money earned from the dog and the right. president. Correct. So obviously there is some kind of limitation. So it's not like completely like it doesn't matter what. Uh, right, but over there, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that the same thing? I'm not sure the same thing, it's sure just, just out of the back of my mind. Right, <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Right, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, anyway, so then he progresses. Then he, so, that, so that's, then he progresses. So that's then. Then there is another level. So the first level is totally for myself, right? Second level is it's it's not as it's not it's not bad. It's avoid the almenas lekabel pras. It's service for the sake of reward, right? And on that they say lo olam yasekodem b'toyro mitzvah sefilu shul olam shmo. So he's saying that that. Right, so he, so which which version does that sound like? Again, right. So he's saying the first the first set of shalalu shmo is totally for myself. I'm trying to trick you. Second second set of shalalu shmo is I'm um, I'm doing it on, on the condition that I get reward. Right, I'm looking. I'm asking, like 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 Antigna uh, that that Mishnah in Pirkei like, don't serve Hashem, right? You shouldn't, ideally you shouldn't. But, okay, but if you do serve Hashem, that's fine. That's not, it's not fine, it's Shlod Shmo, but Mitoch Shlod Shmo, Bol Shmo. So he's applying, he's applying the Mitoch Shlod Shmo, Bol Shmo, on which case? On which case? This is the Rambam's case. This is not Toysus' case. Toysus applied Shlod Shmo, Bol Shmo, on the case where I was, um, I'm, you know, I'm doing it for money, right? Toysus, the awful shlodesh according to Toysus is, is where I'm trying to put other others down, right? The next level shlodesh is where I'm doing it for my personal benefit, mm -hmm. right? So that level of where I'm doing it for my personal benefit, that's the one that Toysus says, metoch shlodesh bolesh Right, Mashenk in the Ramchal is saying, what is the case of Mitoch Shilol Shmo Bol Shmo? More like what the Rambam is saying that I'm doing Al Menas Lekabel Pras. Right. So what's the answer to maybe to the brisker of? Is that Al Menas? There's a difference between. Well, again, I'm not sure. Maybe that's not the answer, but. Whatever. So the, the key the key feature, anyways, according to Ramchal, is that it's al It's I'm I'm doing this avoid on the condition that I get reward. My whole mm -hmm. mod, modus operandi, right, is this that I get reward. Right. That's why he's that's why he says the next level is the next level is um I'm, right is the hardest. What what you need to, to work on, to um, what requires a lot of work. Right, is to what he calls tarova sayisr when you mix the iser, that you are already doing the mitzvah l'shmo mamash, but with it, you mix in some elements of shulo l'shmo. That's the hardest thing to get rid of. Mm -hmm. uh, last. Right, and that's what he says. That's the difference between between the the oiv de Hashem is how how much they were able to eradicate the 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 the, the Sparks of Shiloh Yeah? Mm -hmm. Distill. Right. So it's not the, it's, it's avoid the Hoyer Ligamri. If you want avoid the Hoyer Ligamri, if you want pure, pure avoid, yeah, it has yes. to be completely, completely the Shmo. Right? 
right? Umishu who oivad Hashem be'emes, somebody who serves Hashem truth, lo yistapik b'zeh b'muad. He's not going to want the minimal amount. V'lo yistrat z'lakachas kesef me'urav. He's not going to want uh, silver that's mixed. The high, right? So he's going to have el azach v'atar k'roi. Only the pure, pure avoidah. That's what that's what he that's what the tahara is. Right? And so they don't even see this as a burden, that's what he's saying. He says, I have a shem it's a happiness for them to do it all the way. Okay, fine. The pra the just to share with you this comment on from there's um this edition of Mislaz Sharm that comes with comments or by Cheskel Sarna. Mm -hmm. was, you know, a serious, this is not, it's very, very serious, the Odom God. So he says like this, he says, so he says, Nira Medivir Rabbeinu, it seems from the words of Ramchal, Kulo G'doy L'Binyan Shlil L'Shmo, a very low, not low, Kulo G'doy how do you say Kulo G'doy um, a, a big relaxation when it comes to l'shulol l'shmo. Why? Behind Hashem hakavon l'shmo, because as long as his kavon, his intent is l'shmo, after mm mishat if imo eze pnia, even though combi he combines with it some mm -hmm. misdirection, mikol mokram ze nikro l'shmo mitzad hamitzvah. From the perspective of this mitzvah, it is considered l'shmo. Only from the perspective of this midah of purity of heart, mm -hmm. it's not completely pure. But the mitzvah itself is considered lishmo. Mm -hmm. So this tahara saleiv is from a different mitzvah. Shal kadoshim to you. From kadoshim to you, meaning it's a global requirement. This. There is a requirement, let's say, to to take a, a lulav and esrog. Now, I want the most beautiful lulav and esrog, really, because I want to serve Hashem. Then I really want to do the mitzvah. But I also know that I want to do it because I can come to shul and say, Ah, look at mm -hmm. this, look at this piece that I got, and everybody's going to see, Wow, amazing, right? But but deep down, I also want to do it not because for the, to show mm -hmm. off. I'm also want to do it for the mitzvah, but. And I, now, don't mind benefiting from oh, showing well. off as well, yeah. right? So says the Rav Chesko Sarna says, no, that's that's fine according to Ramchal. If you, right, that's called milashata. If you you come co, co joining to it a, a separate, you know, a separate thing, but it's not. It doesn't take away from the lishmonis of the mitzvah. Mm -hmm. so you don't have to harass a lady. You don't have purity of heart. But the mitzvah itself is l'shmo. That's what he's saying. Aval ein zepoigim klal ba mitzvah shehu oisah. Doesn't detract at all from the mitzvah that he does. Ulegabe ha mitzvah has iser kaze botel b'miyute. But from perspective of the mitzvah, such an iser, meaning such negative uh, misdirection of shlo l'shmo, is botel. <laughs> the difference, man, madregas, of shiloy l'shmo and l'shmo is when you're doing something on the condition of that thing, right? So if I'm doing it on the condition of reward, on the condition of honor, on the condition of bringing somebody down, mm -hmm. when my whole, in other words, that's my whole goal, meaning that's my condition, right? That meaning that's the reason why I'm doing it, that's madregas of shulolushmo But when that's not my condition, I'm really doing it because I want to do the mitzvah of Hashem. Just I'm also interested in the benefit mm -hmm. of what you call. Then fine. Then my mitzvah is totally shulolushmo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So minas lekabel pras. But then on the other hand, he says that if you do on the condition that you want to receive reward bo oylam habo or bo oylam it's shiloh l'shmo. This is, this is a shiloh l'shmo. It's just a shiloh l'shmo that you're allowed to have because of this shiloh l'shmo will come to l'shmo. But if you are doing on the condition to trick somebody or to to larviach mm kovat -hmm. to to profit in honor or in moment, who shiloh l'shmo 
It is a shalom l'shma that's forbidden. And so then it comes from that perspective, there is a chumra from Ramcha, in Ram, the way Ramchal is learning. That even if the COVID is her iser, hmm. meaning not like Toysvus, according to Toysvus, if you're doing on the condition of COVID, it's Shulalashmo, but it's Shulalashmo which brings to Lashmo. Mm -hmm. If you're doing it on the condition of dunking else on, on, on your peers, that's a Shiloh that doesn't that bring doesn't you to the Shema, mm -hmm. right? But, um, but according to Ramchal, is what Rabbi Sarna is saying, is that no, as long as, even if it's on the condition of Olam Habo, Schar of Olam Habo, that's a bad Shiloh That's not, that's, that's, um, one second. No, I'm sorry, that's, a, I didn't say that right. I didn't say that right. So then according to Toysvus, if you're doing it on the condition of reward, that's a Shalom Lushma, but it's not a, it's not a bad Shalom Lushma at all. If it's not even, you don't even have to say it's Al Mitoch Shalom Lushma Bo Lushma, mm -hmm. according to Toysvus. Right? Because if you remember, the Rava says there's a Shalom Lushma Me'al Shemayim and a Shalom Lushma Ad Lushemayim. Mm -hmm. That Ad Lushemayim, the impression is that it doesn't have to bring you anywhere else. It could bring you above mm -hmm. Shemayim, but even if it does, you still even it of itself, it's chosher, right? Then there's a lower level for self, which means and then there's a lower self for not for self, for, for other, for, you know, for terrible reasons, and doesn't even bring you to lishma. That's Toysus' per, per perspective. Ramchal's perspective is no, as well, if it's on if it's on the condition of that thing, it doesn't make a difference if it's a, you know, okay, all right, we're clear, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's 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 how he understands the Ramchal. The only thing that I don't see here is the first part. The second part, I agree, I, you know, I think that's pretty obvious, but the first part, I'm not sure I understand. Meaning the first part that he says that, that, um, that if it's, if it's, a, if it's an additional thing, that it doesn't take away from the, from the Lashma, that I don't see it. I don't see, I don't understand why he sees, again, I, I don't understand it. I think, I don't know. I don't know. Understand fully. Understand right. But it goes back, I think, to that qu similar question. Similar question, right? We have a concept of hider mitzvah, right? Beautifying a mitzvah. Mm -hmm. So there's a question: Is that halacha hider mitzvah? Is that in the mitzvah of, let's say again, esrog? Right? Mm -hmm. I need a beautiful esrog. Mm -hmm. So there's a halacha in the mitzvah. Well, again, I picked the wrong one because it's creates hader over there. It could be. Mm. Everybody agrees that mm. there's a hodder in that mitzvah, but let's go a different, let's go sukkah, right? You have to decorate your sukkah, you need a beautiful sukkah, right? Mm. So is that it because there's a hider mitzvah is, is to, it's in the mitzvah of sukkah, there is an element to make it beautiful, or no, your sukkah is what it is, but there's a separate thing in avoid this Hashem, that whatever you do for Hashem, you should make it as beautiful as possible. It's a separate uh, mm -hmm. requirement, mm -hmm. right? Or, right, fine, so that's, so that's what he's saying. He's saying there's a Shiloh Lushma aspect, right? There's a Shiloh Lushma aspect that's a problem in the mitzvah itself. And there's a Shiloh Lushma aspect that's just, listen, your avoid of Hashem has to be uh, Lushma. Okay, uh, all right, well, I think we spent enough time on this, but okay, I think, um, fine, moving on. So now where are we? Where are we? Yudzayin? Where are we? We're somewhere in Yudzayin, yes. Should we just start from the beginning again? It's not okay, beginning. let's start from the beginning. It's not a long time. Yeah. Um, Hine, so, so this is B'derech Kniya Satara, how to acquire this Tahara. Hine, Haderech El Hasik Amida Azois Kalhu Lemishikvar Hishtadel Vihisik Amidois Ashnu Yois Adheina. So we spoke about this already, right? So, so it's easy to acquire this Mida if you got already to this point, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because, so this again shows that there's a progression here, right? And each one mm -hmm. leads into the next one. Although it's, now that we see this thing, it's a little bit confusing because he just told us 
a second ago, in the previous chapter, he told us that the thing that separates the levels mm -hmm. of Oiv De Hashem is how deep they got into this mitzvah. So clearly it's not easy because this is the thing that divides boys from men, so to speak, men from boys. So I don't... So maybe they're meaning on some basic level. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. So the answer is, he, remember this, we should remind ourselves, there's two taharas, there's two, there's two, two taharas alev. Right? There's Tahara Salev in Mitzvahs, and there's Tahara Salev in Isur. Mm -hmm. Right? We should, lest we forget. Right? That there should be no, that even the things that you're doing that are mutter, you have to do for uh, Hashem. Right? Even you're eating an apple in order to. Keep awake for for the right. Ramchal, exactly, right. So that's so that's the part that he's talking about. That's the part that's easy. It's easy to get rid of the remnant of Isser. Right, right. That makes sense. Okay. When you're thinking about the the lowliness of the pleasures of the, pleasures of the world and its benefits, the person will be disgusted by them. She's going to look at them as, as something negative. Right? So it becomes, the physical pleasure become, become a burden. When a person internalizes that they really are really chesronis, it'll be easy to distance himself from it and to remove them from his heart. Therefore, Therefore, whatever brings him to internalize that, that understanding, that the physical pleasures are a burden, so it would be easier to purify his thoughts as well. So that he's not going to turn to Yetzer at, from any of his actions. So then when it comes to physical actions, they're going to be like, like just uh, uh, what, what they are, meaning uh, a necessary evil, so to speak. It's something that I must do, but it doesn't, um, so not, nothing more. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't take any personal satisfaction. I mean, it's just something that I need to do to, my, to upkeep, uh, to do what I really want to do, which is avoid the spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. Just like the purity of thought, we decide divide it into two parts. Right? One is in physical actions, and the second one in the actions of Avoid Hashem. So therefore, the things that you have to contemplate about also will be divided in two. So whatever his purity of thought that's related to physical matters, that he will have to contemplate the lowliness and the kind of the, the burden, the vulgarity of the physical pleasures uh, of the world. Like I just wrote. However, to purify the thoughts when it comes to Avoid Hashem, Yarbe his boynus al tarmis hakovoid uksovov. With regards to that, he needs to concentrate on the falsity of kovoid. Right? The yargil atzma yilivroyach mimen. And he has to habituate himself to escape from it, to run away from it. Right? Meaning, because that's the thing that's the thing of Lashmo, meaning that's that's his scale right his scale of Lashmo and Lashmo is it for me or is it for God right is it for me or is it for God mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so so right so is it for me is it for God so therefore if I I have to remove as much as possible my own COVID from the equation if I remove my own code from my equation, then it becomes more for God. Oz Yenoke, then he will be clear, cleansed, 
Dose from at the time of his service, Mipno Yisrael Shavach. To be to be moved by Shavach by praise, Velatila by praise, Asher Yahalahu Hu Bnei Odom, which people will praise him. Which he a machshav to point be Yichud Ala Doineinu Asher Hu Tilaseinu, and his thought will be totally turned. Uh, completely uniquely to, towards our master, who is our who is our praise. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> okay, but who called to Venu He is all of our goodness and all of our perfection. We have this zulosa, and there's nothing besides him. Kenu Oimer who tilosicha Right. I think this is somebody told me recently a story with Moshe Feinstein. Somebody, after a shear, told them, wow, such a genius shear, mm-hmm. such a good point. So they shouldn't have told me this. Now I have to, like, you know, <laughs> what's the word? Uh, get this out of my yeah. head, but you can oh. go tell my, my wife. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, sorry, right, moving on. Um, okay. So, so what are the actions that habituate a person to come to this Mida? This is the being ready to do the service of Hashem in the Mitzvahs. The person should not enter a Fulfillment of a mitzvah instantly, mm-hmm. suddenly. Shein daitoy adayin miyushavas alav until his mind is settled on him, on, within within him. Veyichoylo leizboinin b'mashu oisa so that he could fully concentrate and contemplate what it's doing, what he's doing. A person should prepare himself for the thing. And he should prepare his heart patiently. Until he enters in, with full awareness and thought. And then he is going to be... No, I'm sorry, I read it wrong. He has to enter into a contemplation. And if he enters that contemplation, then he will contemplate what he's about to do, and before whom he's going to do it. When a person enters such such an eon, such an in, 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 um, contemplation, that will be easier for him to get rid of uh, external thoughts. And then he will set in him, you know, kind of habituate his heart to thinking this true um, desired kavana. Right? So just speak out. It sounds on some, in some form that this may be contradictory to Zrizus. Right? Zrizus says, go ahead and get things done as quickly as possible. Jump on it, get, rid, get, get to do it. Right? This is saying, no, slow down, Charlie. Contemplate, prepare yourself, get the kavana, get this, right? Mm-hmm. So, right? So this is, this is that thing we also brought this up already at some point, I remember when, that Rabbi Leibol Eger, who was, became like a, you know, a Hasidish Rebbe, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Which is a shaila from Rav Tzadik Akoyin, you know, a letter from Rav Tzadik Akoyin, that he was a moil, and sometimes they ask him to be a moil and a sandik too, mm-hmm. and it takes him like such a such a long time to prepare to do the bris milah, to to get to the right kavana and purity that it's almost like half the day is gone, and when it comes to bris milah, we have a concept of zrizim magdim magdim in the mitzvah, right? So you do it as, as quickly as yeah. possible in the day. So his question is. Should he allow himself to be honored with either being a moil or, should, or with being a sandik, because he delays the process as a result? So he told him, "Yeah, for you, this is your zrizus. You're doing it as, as fast as possible, but you, you know, you can't do it any faster." So that's that's zrizus, basically, was his answer. Um, right. On the other hand, again, 
It's, these are all of these things. At this point, when we come to Chatzisidus, we already said that it's, it's totally in Shikul Adas. It's totally in a person's being self-honest and analyzing exactly, right? Because if he doesn't, you know, it's like it's again at the end of the day, it's very much like business. You know, some people like like uh, my my uh, say boss says, you know, uh, uh, you know, sometimes it's better better than doing it right is better to do it right away. You know, meaning because if you sometimes it's true, I'm saying. There's a, there is a danger of when you're trying to perfection, you know, perfect your mitzvah, and the end of the day it, it falls it falls apart, right? And perfect perfect becomes the enemy of the good, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think that that's less true for avodas Hashem, but it's it requires shikladas. Okay, anyways, moving on. Vitira um, <clears throat> And that's what comes to Chesid Meshon and Gemara says, How you show him sho'ach as koyim tfilosam. They would wait one hour before their davening, v'achagach mispa'alim, and then they would daven. K'day she'ikavnu libom l'mokom. So that there would be mechav in their heart to, to Hashem. U'bivadah sh'lo yapoyim sho'ach as l'batola. They certainly weren't wasting their time, right, for this one hour. Ela miskavnim u'machinim libom l'tfilosh sh'hoyu l'hem l'ispa'alim. Rather, they were trying to concentrate their hearts so they would be have kavona to davening. And they would push away from them external thoughts. And they would try to fill themselves up with yira and ahava that is required. Right? If you prepare your heart and you spread forth your hands to him. Meaning you see that preparation comes before spreading meaning to davening. Okay, so that's so that's another. So this midah of tahara has two levels of uh, acquisition. One is in thought, right? One is in thought, meaning in thought, meaning meaning contemplate, uh, um, contemplate how bad COVID is, or contemplate how lowly the the, the physical pleasures are. And then there is an action. What's the action? The, it's, a, it's a funny thing to call it an action, but it's the action is think and contemplate before you do something. Do you, all your mitzvahs with contemplation. Kavona sa mitzvahs. Okay, now he brings us to mafside a mitzvah. Yeah, let's finish. Vihine mafside amida heim chisoran is born. So the opposite is that what's, 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 mm -hmm. what detracts from the mitzvah. It's the lack of his boy in the Yonim Shazacharno. The Hainu Sichlus Pchisu Satanogim. Right? If you don't think about the lowliness of the pleasures of the world, then, and also Redifa Sakovit, and rather you pursue Kovit, and you mi, mi, limit how much you prepare for, for service. These are the three opposites, right, of what he said before. Kiashnaim are you showing him, him, Mfatina Samachshova. The first two will. Entice your thought, and thereby they will uh, pull your mind towards other directions. Which is compared to a woman, which, while married to her husband, she takes other 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 strange lovers, right? So she there's there's more than one master in her life, right? Again, because it's a contradiction. It's either me or God. Which one is it? And that's why the external thoughts are called <clears throat> like like a, a infidelity of the heart. Right? The zainim is from the znus. The heart is steered away from a perfect outlook. Asher hoyol lekosher boy, which he was able to tie himself to el ha el havolim v'dim yoyne nois koizim, but rather for into nothingness and to imaginary fall falsehoods. Umiyot ha'achona. That's that's the first two, right? Meaning, if he doesn't have enough contemplation about honor and about physical pleasures, then he's gonna he's gonna be um, enticed towards them. Umiyot ha'achona goyim lesichu sativi. While the lack of preparation for the mitzvah will just, will just natural, the natural uh, sichlus 
full that's not foolishness, but how do we say it? Dullness. Well, they translate as foolishness, but I think it's more it's not foolishness, it's more like the person's by nature dull, thick headed. It's thick headedness. It's not it's lack of sensitivity. Unless mm -hmm. we internalize something, we're not sensitive to it. Mitzada Khoimer from the fact that we are physical. That's not removed from us. And such a person, a person spoils the avoid Hashem with his with its rot. Okay, so so that last piece is interesting because he's saying he's saying that because we are physical. Because we are physical, our void is Hashem. We're just thick-headed, you know. We don't, we're not sensitive creatures. And unless we in, inspire ourselves, you know, unless we have that hisoyerus, we um, we're gonna the avoid us Hashem is gonna be flat and it's going to be stale. Okay, and then he says this very interesting line here: When the voyer Adam Atam midas achasidus, and now we shall explain midas achasidus. What what is that? What's the necessary of this line? Right? Why does he end off as the last line in Tahara? And now I will explain Midas Achasidus. Sounds to me almost like, meaning now that now you're ready. Meaning until now, there was nothing to discuss. Now that you have Tahara and you did all these steps, now you're ready to 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 graduate to Chasidus. No, otherwise why is he saying that? He didn't say by every other mitzvah. Okay, now we're ready for the next one. Why specifically over here by Tahara, he says, and now we're ready for the, for the next one. All right, whatever. Okay, Shkoyach.